Okay, this one we want to find, use the product rule. Here is our function m of x given as that. This also tells us that we need to write our answer as a single fraction. So not all problems do you have to do that, but because it asks us specifically to do so, we do need to do that here. Now, before I jump into it, let's go ahead and change this into a one-half power because we'll have to be applying product rules, or applying the uh, power rules as we go through. So I'm going to change the square root of x into x to the one-half. So there'll be a power rule combined with the product rule. Okay, so let's do m, prim m primed, and we're going to be following the product rule formula for that. So that's the first thing, derivative of the second we'll start with. So first thing is x to the one-half, derivative of the second, so derivative of this. The f this first part is our f, the second part is our g, so we want g primed. Doing that rule, the, uh, I, have a, I have a negative, it's going to come down, negative 2 comes down, and then I have x, then subtract 1, and you get 1. Minus sign came down with it, we brought the 2 down in front of it, so negative 2x would be that derivative. Plus the second thing, 4 minus x squared, times the derivative of the first. The first one is this one here. In this case, the 1 half comes down, x, subtract 1 from that power. So 1 half minus 2 halves is negative 1 half. So this is done using the formula. Now it's just a matter of doing some simplifying. Okay, when I multiply that together, we're going to get negative 2x to the 3 halves, because we're adding exponents when we multiply those. This one, I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a fraction because I have a negative exponent. And for this, I get 4 minus x squared over 2x to the 1 half on the bottom. It does say to write this as a single fraction, so I need to get common denominators here. So, what will happen is I need to get, I need to make both the bottoms equal to 2x to the 1 half. So I'll multiply this one by 2x to the 1 half top and bottom. So basically the calculus is over. We're just working now with some algebra to combine this together. Got to get common denominators for multiplying both by 2x to the 1 half. Okay, let's keep on going with this. We're going to multiply that out through the top. You get negative 4, we're adding exponents. 3 halves plus 1 half is 4 halves. That's x squared only we'll get on top there. On the bottom we still have 2x to the 1 half power. And then we have the rest of this also, which I'm going to add together. 2x to the 1 half. Okay, now I need to add all that together on top to write over one single fraction, which is 2x to the 1 half. On top, I have a negative 4x squared minus a 1. That'll be minus 5x squared, so I can write this as 4 minus 5x squared. And the bottom one, you can either keep it as the, the 1 half power, or if you'd like to change that back into a square root, you can do that as well. But mainly it is a single fraction because we combine it together, both fractions combine into a single one, so that answers the question. We have another one with product rule. This one doesn't say anything about writing as a single fraction, so we don't need to worry about that. So if it doesn't tell us that, then we can just leave our answer as separate fractions. Okay, here's your f. This whole part over here is your g. We're going to follow the same product rule formula. We got the first thing, x squared plus 1, that's your f, times the derivative of the second. Okay, so we want to do the derivative of this one separately. Okay, so derivative of each of these terms separately, um, derivative of x is 1. That's really the same thing as a constant times x, so I have a 1x, so the answer is just the constant. Derivative of 5 is going to be 0. X, 1 over x can be written this way as x to the negative 1, so when we apply the derivative there, negative 1 comes down, I have x, subtract 1 from the exponent, and I get uh, x to the negative 2. So I have the first thing times derivative of the second, plus the second thing, x plus 5 plus 1 over x, times the derivative of the first. Derivative of this, we just have a 2x, derivative of 1, 0. So we're done applying the product rule. Now we're just going to clean this up a little bit by multiplying everything out. 
Okay, so uh, we'll do x squared plus 1, and this can be written as 1 minus 1 over x squared, so we can do that. This part over here, I'm actually just going to multiply it all out right now, I'll foil everything. 2x times x is 2x squared, 5 times 2x is 10x, and I do 2x times 1 over x, I'll just get uh, 2 for that one. Next, I'm going to multiply out this one. I got to do a foil on that. So I do this times this, so I get x squared. x squared times 1 over x squared, that's going to be a minus 1 only. When I multiply that, the x squares cancel. Do the inside ones, plus 1. So now I get these will cancel. And then I have minus 1 over x squared. And then of course I have the rest of this here. And the last thing I'll do is combine all the like terms together. These two, we already know, those are going to cancel out. We're going to combine like terms, so the square terms, so we'll combine those together. That's 3x squared. That takes care of these. And then we have a 10x. And I have a 2. And then I'll write this 1 over x squared here. It's got to be a minus there because there's a minus sign there originally. And then this is it. It doesn't mention anything about uh, writing it out as a single fraction, so we can leave your answer. You leave your answer just like this.